Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey guys, today's video is gonna be a great one. It's gonna be signs she's cheating on you. I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna go over three or four different big things, big changes that she's cheating on you, okay? Now, while this is not 100% correct, okay, just because she's doing a few of these things doesn't mean that it's 100% that she's cheating on you, but I'm gonna tell you this, if you're going through financial difficulty, guys, it is a very good chance that she is cheating on you. Remember, women want security. Regardless of what they say to your face, they're probably not in love with you, they're in love with what you provide for them, okay? All right, again, not all girls, but let's jump right into it. We're gonna talk about changes. Changes in their physical appearance, changes in the bedroom, and changes in their social behavior. I'm gonna get started right now with the easy ones, folks. Physical appearance. If your girl is on a diet and it's not like New Year's resolution or her and all the girls at the office didn't go on a diet, you need to pay attention to that. Also, you need to pay attention to her hair, the color, the length, the fingernails, okay? If she goes and gets her nails done, it's not a big deal, right? But if she gets all of these things done, and again, it's not like everybody at the office is participating, or it's not like a New Year's resolution, or it's not something that she's doing with you, you need to be concerned. Now, this is going to multiply when I get to the other parts of this video, when I start talking about her social behavior, and I also talk about her habits in the bedroom. If you can add all of these things up, it's just going to magnify and magnify and intensify, and you're going to be dead sure she's cheating. Trust me, guys, I work in the oil field, two weeks on, two weeks off. Oil field kills marriages, it kills relationships, and there's been a lot of nights sitting around on the rig where us guys have been talking, and I'm going to pass you some good information. All right, so what I just told you guys about her diet, her hair, her nails, a tattoo, Facebook post, things like that can mean she's cheating. I'm going to give you a perfect example. There was a corner store that I used to go to, and the girl at the corner store, she was, I would give her about a six, okay? She never was made up. She was a little bit chunky, and that's just the way she was, plain Jane. Well, all of a sudden, this girl starts losing weight, and it's noticeable. Well, then a few weeks later, she gets her hair done. She grows it out. She tints it blonde, all right? Her nails are done. She's wearing makeup. She, her dressing is better. Her clothes are better. And she gets a tattoo right here, and it says, begin again guys tattoos like that also post on social media such as turning over a new leaf or experiencing new things dead giveaway dead giveaway all right so now that we're done with the physical appearance part of it we're going to go over the social behavior and also her habits in the bedroom and you can put those two together and if you put that together with financial difficulty it's almost guaranteed that she's cheating on you guys. Hey guys, another very important point, but before I give you this, remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit that red subscribe button, guys. Smash that like button, give me a like, give me a subscription. It helps me with YouTube. All right, guys, now this is number two. It's very important, it comes from my own personal experience. You're looking at her habits in the bedroom. I'm talking about sex life. Guys, it's not only what she's doing, it's what she's not doing, okay? You gotta pay attention to both sides of this deal. I'm going to give you an example. If she's too tired to have sex, if she has a migraine, if her stomach hurts, if she's never in the mood to have sex, okay, I promise you guys, she's having sex somewhere. It might not be with you, but she's having sex somewhere. So when her sexual motivation goes way down, okay, compared to where it used to be, then that's a big red flag. Guys, everybody's sex life goes downhill after a while, okay? But if she's physically there present with you, but she's not really there when you touch her or when you want it, she's being not cooperative about this situation, I can tell you right now, if there's always an excuse, that is a huge red flag. Again, like it or not, boys, she's getting it somewhere, okay? It's just not from you. Now, let me tell you about her sex life, guys. Habits in the bedroom. Number two is equally as important, and that's what she is doing with you in the bedroom. Is she doing new positions? Is she taking charge? Is she asking you to do things different? Folks, people are creatures of habits, okay? And if all of a sudden she's doing something different, it could be is she shaving, is she not shaving? Different positions, guys. I'm telling you right now, if there are changes, 
Those are not coincidences. Now, one or two of them might be a coincidence, but again, you have to compare this to everything I said in the first part of the video too, and kind of put two and two together and see where you stand on that situation. Again, to wrap this up, guys, like I said, if she's not having sex with you, she's having sex somewhere. If she's having sex and doing a lot of crazy new stuff, well, where is she learning that? Here's something else, guys, and this is deep. This is good information right here. If you think she might be having sex with somebody else, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, after I tell you this, you're going to hit it. If you think she might be having sex with someone else, leave a hickey on her. I'm not talking about where somebody can see it, where it'd be embarrassing at work or, you know, it might look bad upon her out in the real world. I'm talking about somewhere here, somewhere on the legs, things like that. Guys, I can guarantee you if she's got a boyfriend on the side or if she's fooling around, she does not want a big greasy red hickey on her when she goes to see her lover in secret, okay, trying to be discreet. I promise you. So try to leave that on her and see what she says, okay? Hey guys, and last but not least, this is very important. This is going to be about her social behavior. Now guys, remember, just because she's exhibiting some of these acts doesn't mean that she's cheating on you or she's planning on leaving you. But if you put this together with her sexual habits I was talking about in the bedroom, and you also put this together with her physical appearance, some major, major red flags could be popping up. All right, guys, her telephone, big time, okay? Is she reading that telephone and then just kind of turning it over or laughing and she's always got it out of your sight or she all, she's always walking off when she answers it and talks on it or maybe she reads a text and she laughs and she just turns the phone off again, okay? Maybe she doesn't answer it sometimes. That's weird, right? Pay attention to her telephone habits. Also, very important, when you text her, if she's not immediately texting back, this happened to me. This is how I figured out she was cheating. She got off work at 4 o'clock, and she worked at a plant where they were very punctual about clocking in and clocking out. She was always clocked in on time. She was always clocked out on time. Well, she got off at 4 o'clock. We were supposed to go out. We were supposed to have a good time. I start texting her at 4 o'clock. I don't hear anything from her. 4.10, nothing. I'm calling, nothing. 4.15, 4.20. Finally, about 4.40, she hits me back. And I was like, hey, where are we at? She goes, oh, well, I was at work. Well, that's not true. You got off work at 4 o'clock. What's going on? And then I started doing some more homework and looking into the situation before. Sure enough, she ended up cheating on me, but that was the telltale sign. Also, guys, if her drink changes, okay, her friends change, she starts hanging out with a different group of people, she starts drinking vodka when the only thing you've ever seen her drink has been natural light or the only thing you've ever seen her drink is tequila, okay, those are red flags, guys. Humans are creatures of habit, all right? Also, can be a different restaurant she wants to go to, although she probably won't invite you there if she's been there with her other man, okay? Um, another thing, if she starts accounting for her time, a lot of times when people are going to go cheat, they'll call you up and it'll sound like an innocent phone call, and she'll be like, hey, babe, are you still at the golf course? And you'll be like, yeah, I'm still at the golf course, or yeah, we just got done playing golf, what's up? And she'll be like, oh, I just wanted to let you know that Julie and I were going to go swimming this afternoon, or we're going to go to the ocean, or we're going to go do something else, or we were going to go catch a movie. Catch a movie is a huge one because their phones can be off in the movies, okay? So when they say that they want to go catch a movie or they're going to go do something with a friend and they account for their time, oh, by the way, how do you play? Do you want me to bring something home or are you going to go out and eat? And you say, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go grab a pizza or something. All right. What she's doing is she's forming a game plan. She's called you innocently to ask you if you wanted some food. But what she's really done is she's found out exactly what you're doing. She's told you a lie about exactly what she's doing. Anytime someone is accounting for their time, okay, you think about those phone calls long and hard. Also, guys, another thing, check the mileage on her car. Check the mileage on her car, okay? You'd be surprised how many times an extra 150 miles gets on that car. You really would. Um, guys, like I said, when I made this video, just because she's exhibiting one of these behaviors, even in her physical appearance or her habits in the bedroom or her social behavior, just because she's exhibiting one of these behaviors doesn't necessarily mean she's doing it. But tell you what you do. You write down on a sheet of paper everything she's doing, and then you ask yourself, 
Are you struggling a little bit financially? You know, could that be it? Maybe she's got a friend that's married to a doctor or a lawyer or somebody with a bunch of money and that friend's driving a new Mercedes and she's driving a Prius or a Corolla, okay? Things like that, guys, will get a woman's attention and will get them looking around. So I hope this video helps you guys like and subscribe to my channel. Smash that subscribe button if you're still with me. I have not uh, told you guys to do that in the first part of this video, but I'm telling you now. And I also want you guys to know I really appreciate it. If you like this video and it does well, I will make more videos about signs that she's cheating and signs that she's leaving. And I'll go into a lot more details. But for right now, I can tell you guys this is gold. This is money. See you next time.